guys and welcome back to my channel today we're gonna make some cinnamon rolls for our starter dough we're gonna have bread flour 100 gram softened butter 100 gram yeast 7 gram milk 2 tablespoon and we mix everything together with the yeast the flour the milk and the butter and we just try to mix it all together until everything is properly mixed and it looks like this at the end make sure to cover it with clean film when you finished and put it aside so now we're going to start with our cinnamon dough the ingredients are bread flour 400 grams salt 5 grams unsalted butter 70 grams one egg yeast 7 gram water 150 milliliters and coconut sugar 80 grams so now we just mix all the ingredients together and by the way guys you can use any type of sugar it's just my preference to actually use coconut sugar so you guys must be wondering why we needed the starter dough it's actually a key ingredient to make our bread soft and fluffy. I'm putting the starter dough that I did before and mixing it with our cinnamon dough. So guys, just keep kneading the dough until it becomes very sticky. Once it's become sticky, take your flour and sprinkle it on the surface. After sprinkling flour on the surface, take out your dough and start kneading it for about 3 minutes. If it gets too sticky, just put some more flour on the surface and continue kneading the dough. Until the dough is smooth and elastic like this one. So that the dough doesn't stick on the bowl, we have to grease the bowl. We will then need to cover it with cling film and leave the dough for at least 2 to 3 hours. After 2 to 3 hours, your dough should have grown like this. Now I'm just going to punch the air out by basically punching the dough. If the dough is still too sticky for you, you can put a little bit more flour on the surface and knead it a little bit more. But you don't need to if your dough is already smooth and elastic. It's just my preference to put more flour into it because for me it was too sticky. We then use the rolling pin to make our dough Flat. We're gonna try to make the dough into a rectangular shape, make it as equal as possible and make it as flat as possible. After this step, we put the unsalted butter on the dough. Make sure that the butter is evenly spread throughout also make sure that you are using a softened butter because if you use a butter that's too hard it might cause some tear on the dough the next step would be sprinkling some ground cinnamon i don't really have the exact measurement of how much cinnamon i use just i try to fill up as much space as i can just make sure not to make the cinnamon too thick we then put the brown sugar on this step i also don't measure the brown sugar i just try to evenly spread it around the dough again make sure that it's not too thick we then roll the dough like what I'm doing here now just try to make it as even as possible on both sides 
After rolling the, the dough completely, we then close it by pinching on the sides. Like what I'm doing here right now. Just make sure to try to make everything close and nothing comes out of the dough. And try to stretch the dough a little bit to make the width the same. That's what I'm doing here. To cut the dough into the pieces, you can either use a thread like what I'm using or you can use a dental floss. On how big I want to cut my cinnamon roll, it actually depends on myself. I just use my own judgment on how big I want my cinnamon roll. After cutting all the dough, we will have to place all the cinnamon rolls into a baking tray like this one. We will then have to cover it with a tea towel and leave it for at least one hour. After one hour, the cinnamon roll should have grown like this one. We'll then have to preheat the oven for 150 degrees Celsius. We then insert the cinnamon roll after the oven has been preheated for around 10 to 15 minutes. So now we have to do the icing ingredients. And that would be 1 cup cream cheese, 1 tablespoon butter, 1 cup icing sugar. And then we put the butter and the cream cheese inside the bowl and mix it all together with the electric mixer. You just keep mixing it until the cream cheese and the butter has completely have been mixed together and it looks like this. We slowly just keep putting a little bit of the icing sugar and mixing it with the electric mixer because we don't want to have lumps in our icing after mixing it all together the icing should look like this in the end all creamy smooth no lumps Meanwhile, you should check the oven and probably the cinnamon roll is already ready. It should look like this in the end, a little bit golden brown on top. After taking out the cinnamon roll out of the oven, make sure to cool it down for at least 30 minutes. After it's been cooled, we should spread the icing onto the cinnamon rolls like what I'm doing right now. It really depends on you on how much icing you want to put on your own cinnamon rolls. But obviously, in my case, I want to put as much icing as I want. Once finished, obviously, we feast! Mmm, yummy cinnamon rolls. Once again guys, thanks for watching and please don't forget to hit like, subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you next time!